So this question is all about getting to the end and getting f equals ma out the door. You start off with this formula, which I like to call the death acceleration formula. It is a list of ingredients of everything Superman or you needs to stop a train with your bare hands. The thing that affects your train stopping abilities are the following. The mass of the train, how big it is, big or small train, obviously that's a big difference. Okay, the, um, we'll say the velocity, that's the final speed of the train. So are you gonna stop it all the way? Or are you just gonna slow it down to like, 20 miles an hour, okay? That, that's one thing you need to worry about. Uh, what else? I'm gonna put the mass down here as well, because really this is the MV together is a momentum. Uh, and we're gonna put in uh, U. U is the starting speed. So that's what the train was going at before you put your hands on it, okay? Obviously, if it's not going that fast, it's not gonna to be too bad to slow down, but it's gonna be miles an hour at best luck to you. Finally, you gotta have T in here. Um, I'm gonna put that down there. That's how quickly you do all of this stuff, okay? So if you take nine years to slow down a train, well, that's not gonna take as much force, really, is it? So if you do it in a half a second, that's gonna be a lot of force. So these are inversely proportional. All right, that's your starting point. That's the, uh, so let's say the deceleration formula. And basically we just rearrange this until we get F equals MA. So let's do it. Uh, F is proportional to, I'm gonna pull the M's out here all together, okay? I just bunch them up and put the rest in brackets. Um, so I'm gonna say V minus U is left over and the T I can also stick into the brackets there as well. Okay, so I've just pulled the M out all together. Now this V minus U over T, uh, that, in fact, is the definition of acceleration, okay? So A equals V minus U over T. That's what it, it's the difference in your, in your speeds and how quickly it takes you to do that. Okay, I'll leave that up there. Um, so knowing that, I can rearrange this a little bit, okay? I can now say uh, that this F is proportional to M times just A. Okay, you can see I'm getting close to F equals MA. Now, I have to get rid of this proportional sign. So I'm gonna put in a, a kind of a fudge factor. Okay, I'll just go over here to the right a bit. So now I'm gonna say F equals, but when I change proportional to equals, I have to put in a, a fudge factor or a constant. Okay, and I'm gonna call that um, K for the, it's, it's basically something times MA. Love that. Now, because of the definition of a Newton, you won't go to the big detail here to keep it quick. You can say, uh, happy days, look at that, K equals one. And that I would just put uh, in brackets, I'm just gonna write, def, you write definition of a Newton after Isaac Newton himself. Because of the, the definition of a Newton, uh, k is equal to 1, so I can now write down the final answer is f equals m a, and that is it.